Hey, thanks so much, uh, Felicia. Look, I've been associate administrator for the science mission director for close to five months, and I've just been in awe, and I'm in awe today about both the depth and the breadth of the science that we do here. We're changing people's lives every day, and we enlarge in the space we know. We stretch our imagination, we inspire every day. And today's story is just that. I'm excited to announce today that Dr. Mikel Gion and his team have used our Spitzer Space Telescope to determine that there are actually seven Earth-sized planets orbiting the nearby TRAPPIST-1 star about 40 light years away. What's more, as you can see in this illustration, is that three of these planets, marked in green, are in the habitable zone where liquid water can pool on the surface. In fact, with the right atmospheric conditions, there could be water on any of these uh, planets. So for the first time, we found as many terrestrial planets around a single star, and that's the first time we have been able to measure, in addition to that, both the masses and the radii of these habitable zone-type Earth-sized planets. These planets are among the best uh, in, in, of all the planets we know to follow up to see, for example, with the James Webb Space Telescope that we're going to launch last year, the atmospheres, and also to look at biosignatures, if there are any. The discovery gives us a hint that finding a second Earth is not just a matter of if, but when. Scientists believe, actually, that around every star there could be one planet. Take three, take five, take seven, and you can just imagine how many worlds are out there that have a shot to becoming a habitable ecosystem that we could explore. And what we really have in this story is a major step forward towards answering one of these very questions that are at the heart of so many of our philosophers of what we're thinking about when we're by ourselves. And that basically is, are we alone out there? We're making a step forward with this, a leap forward, in fact, towards answering that question. And I'm really excited uh, for you to hear about it now. 